Hi, my name is Bintu and today I am going to teach you how to write a C program that reads the content of an existing file and displays it on the screen. I assume that a file already exists. This is the code for that. But let's run it first particularly. I am using Unix platform to write the C code. Uh, this is Kigwin terminal. It gives you a Unix environment on Windows. I have already created a file for you and the file name is displaycontent.c so this is its content I also assume that there already exists a file sampledata.txt in the last lecture we learned how to create a text file in C if you don't know please go to youtube.com and search for Bintu Harwani to see all my video tutorials and you will find one tutorial that explains how to create a text file in C please go through it if you don't know Anyway, I will first compile my display content file through GCC compiler. This is the code for that. To run this file, I will give, I'll give some name, the file which does not exist. The file does not exist. So this program checks if the file already exists or not. Now I will give the correct file name. So it is displaying all the content of the existing file. Now let's understand this code. We will start from the open command. Open is for opening a file and you are saying that the file whose name is supplied through command line argument open that file in read only mode. Here these are the parameters that are used for command line argument. After the file name whatever you type is stored in this string array. Uh, the file name goes into the uh, subscript argv0 the first parameter after the file name goes into argv1 second goes into argv2 and so on and argc is for keeping the count of the parameters that are given after the file name so these these two parameters are for command line parameters you are asking to open the file in read only mode whose name is supplied to command line argument and if the command is successful the location of that file on disk drive which we call file descriptor will be assigned to FP. If the file is not found or you don't have enough permissions, FP will get a negative value. So you are checking if the FP is negative. Please come out of the program after displaying an error message that file does not exist and you terminate. You come out of the program. If the control reaches here, that means the file was found and the FP is positive value pointing at the file in the FAT. FAT means file allocation table. Once you are sure that the file exists. You are using a loop. You are using a read function which reads from FP file this number of bytes. You define a buff size variable of size 1 kilobyte and what you are saying that you please read from FP file 1024 bytes and assign it to the buffer string variable. Buffer is a string variable here of size 1024 bytes. This read function does what? After reading the content from the file it returns the number of bytes which are read from the file and assigns to the variable on the left. So count will get the number of bytes that are read from the file fp. This loop will go on until and unless the file is over. For the time the number of bytes are more than 0 in the file fp, this loop will run. So after reading 1 kilobyte, it is assigned to buffer, it is displayed, then the loop will continue. If the file has less than 1024 bytes, it will assign the existing number of bytes. 1024 is the maximum block size. So the existing number of bytes are assigned to buffer variable and they are displayed. Finally, when the file is over, you are closing the file and you are coming out. So this is the code for that. If you face any problem in understanding this code, you can mail me at bmharwani at yahoo.com. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.